Back in 1998, my dad took me down to uh, Promise Keepers Conference in Colorado Springs. I remember standing on my chair and there was no music, but there was like 15,000 men singing How Great Thou Art. And I realized like, oh, that thou is an actual God. He's real. And it just actually began to like sink in to my heart. And I just basically realized that I wanted to believe in this God. I was born and raised into a Christian family, but definitely been moments of like having to figure it out for myself. If I were to be completely honest, all of my issues when I was younger <laughs> spurred from women. So graduated high school in 2008, and from there, uh, me and a couple other guys decided to go down to Mexico and serve there for like a month and a half. I met a girl in Mexico, <laughs> but she was from Idaho and she was fantastic. And we began a friendship that was really sweet. By the time spring of 2009 rolled around, I basically began to experiment with just different things in life. And she could tell what was going on. And at one point she expressed to me like, you are not the man I met. And that drove me into an angry place of just like, complete rebellion. I kind of carried that into my first semester of Bible college. It's like one side of me wanted to learn as much as possible about the Bible and God, but the other side of me wanted to follow my heart's desires. And it ended up in a place of real emptiness because I was raised to love and respect women. I, I knew what I was doing, but I had a very sobering moment of realizing I was a heart wrecker. And here I am like becoming the man that I hate. Grace in that moment was being able to continue after my desire to just get to know the Lord and grow to be a better man than I was being. He is faithful when we are faithless. And so even when I wander, he's held on. And that's been like the constant reminder for me. And I had to learn that over and over and over again. In 2011, I began pursuing another unhealthy relationship, and it came to the point of me realizing I was falling back into a pattern. I just chose to let it go. It was very freeing. It was that moment of realizing that my heart was desiring something greater. And from that point forward was when I tried to serve the Lord more consistently. Went to Joplin in September of 2011. Basically the town got destroyed by a tornado and Shane was leading a trip of a bunch of us out there. And um, it was really a fantastic trip. So in February, I get a Facebook message from uh, Pastor Jeff Kingery out in Joplin, Missouri. It was really super random. And he's like, I've been thinking about you and I am wondering if you would ever consider coming and working at our church. I was like mind blown because I had been thinking and praying about moving out to Joplin, Missouri for quite a while already. And so the Lord's given me this opportunity to go to Joplin and that's when I began to utter the words like, all right, I'm coming to Joplin. <laughs> and it was at that moment when like my heart connected with what I was doing. Basically, the opportunity is to do a bunch of media things around the church and also try my hand at youth pastoring. In a lot of ways, this is a really good motivator in terms of my walk with Christ, just because he's known that I've wanted to move out there for a long time, obviously. And he's known that I've loved these people in particular, and now I'm gonna have the opportunity to show them that love. So I've been having to choose to just trust that God is in control of this whole thing and he's orchestrating it, regardless of what happens. Mm -hmm.